Hey everyone, um, I had gotten a request to do, um, not the hair, but I did the hair anyways, um, to do, um, makeup using, um, unlike the other makeup that I used in, um, my other videos, like the Too Faced, like the kind that you get at, like, Ulta or Sephora to do, like, um, I couldn't find my Wet n Wild, um, and there's another like brand new drugstore brand but um so I did a tutorial on using um drugstore brand makeups um nothing wrong with them I have a ton of them I think my wet and wild I know I gave some of it away and I think some of it's at my sister's house but um I'm going to go to Dollar Tree today and a couple other dollar stores and hunt of um cheaper products because these are pretty cheap but we're gonna go cheaper because this is going to be the semi poor girl makeup tutorial okay so let me i got my got my monster and i got my cigarettes i only have 15 minutes so hopefully i can get it done <coughs> i'm so sorry don't smoke i made you cough hopefully i can get it done in um 15 minutes first i'm gonna start with the hair okay my hair was straight so i put in this you get it at walgreens like six bucks it's spray it curl it works really really good because my hair was like rimrod straight i got a curly with this then suave is pretty cheap this actually worked um really good it's the i'm getting a glare mm, i'm sorry it's um new it's the whipped cream mousse a captivating curls and it's salon proven and it's compared to uh redken stuff works really really good then um i scrunched it and i used the aussie i love this there's like nothing in here the um aussie scrunch which this runs sometimes like not like close to four bucks and i will say that walgreens has more sales than like cvs does and walgreens does the red tag makeup where it's like 75 50 percent off which is like awesome and for hairspray i used the suave um touchable finish which it's um salon proven and will hold as well as uh sebastian never use sebastian and this is a lightweight hold i like to use a lightweight hold for updos because you don't want it like like pulled back like so hard your eyes are like going like <sighs> okay i shouldn't have done that but <laughs> anyways um so um because of the lighting is so bad I will try to show you the hair. I scrunched it and then I just kind of put it back like that. Uh, I don't know if you're getting a good view of it or not. And I didn't know what kind of accessory to put in my hair. So I got this like it's supposed to be more of like a 50s like cover like more of your head. But I pushed it back more and it's got this purple flower on it which I thought it went good with the makeup and for the makeup and I also pulled down these like little see maybe you could see a little the hair a little bit better pull down you could I would have curled them personally but um I didn't feel like doing it and I really didn't have the time to because I gotta do two more tutorials today let me fix this camera because of the light because I'm like looking orange as hell okay so for the makeup I'm trying to do this as quick as I can I used first for my face. I started off with the L'Oreal Magic Lumini. I know you're getting like a horrible like glare and I can't help that. This is like 12 bucks, but it's well worth it. It works good. You could just put it on and not use makeup and it gives a really nice like highlight to your face. Like that stuff. Then after I used that it's like too close up on my face i'm also breaking out really bad probably because of stress and being driven insane after i okay after i did that illuminating i did the usual green um this is like maybe four dollars or something like that well all this is you could get at cvs and walgreens walmart target then i did my usual cover girl cover up for the problem areas then I put on, now this is also I think like 12 or 13 bucks. It's the Revlon, I don't know if you can see it because of this glare. It's the Revlon Photo Ready, which actually works really, really good. I like it a lot. Then I put that on, and then um, for a powder, I used the Maybelline New York Mineral Powder. Then 
I did my blush. I used, I talked about the Dream Bouncy as a setter. I put the Dream Bouncy on. Then, um, this is an Ulta brand. I'm so sorry. I couldn't find one to do with this tutorial that would go with that. Because the one that I have is Benefit. And that one's kind of pricey. But it's Ulta. I'm going to open it so maybe you could see the color better. And it, it, it's actually really good. I got it. Uh, I want to, I didn't win it, but from buying something, I get a free big thing of Ulta makeup. So, it's this color. This lighting, really, I'm in the computer room because Mark's been sleeping for like two days. But anyways, it's like that color. There you go. That shows it better. Okay, really pretty color. So, I put that on. And, oh, we need that. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> okay, then, this is CoverGirl. It's, um... The sophisticated sable it's like blush and um highlighter i didn't use the blush because it's it's very light um and i i, I do the blush kind of heavy sometimes but i used this as my highlighter instead of using the Too faced and this runs like five six bucks then the last thing i did on my face was i used a little bit of this physician's formula and they sell them they're so cute these are like i think 13 bucks but it's like a bronzer but it's got like the hearts on it and it's got the pink heart and you can also use that little pink heart as a blush or an eyeshadow yeah oh and you know what with this i'm sorry i just want to show you if you press on this button and flip it it comes with this cute i don't use these brushes usually because i you have different ones but it came with like a half pink half red little brush i just kept it because it was so cute and it also has a mirror so that's something you can kind of keep in your purse okay so we got the face down the eyes okay i'm gonna give you a close-up and i'm gonna close them okay first thing i did was i this is the revlon creams they work great as a setter because I couldn't use um, eye primer because drugstore makeup doesn't make it yet. So I had to use this. I put the white on my brow bone mixed with the silver. And then I put the pink um, halfway mark. Like you just use your eyeball as a halfway mark. I did my, the pink into my crease on both sides. And then I used the black just a little bit as a guide to do the smoky eye part so i had one i had the oh, can't talk today okay once you got the eye setter on then you want to use eyeshadows to go over the pink i used this um cover girl i ripped the name off of it i got it a while ago but they um still do sell it and if you can't if you really like it and you can't find it you can find it on amazon you can find all this on amazon too for like 50 cents and shit I used the, this pink, and I just went over the highlight, you know. Let me give a close-up. The pink that's highlighted, I just went over it with the pink. Then, for the, um, how do I, black always goes last, just so you know. Then, for, like, the silvery white part, I used this, um, Revlon matte, and it's, in pink I'm trying to see it better that way I put that on right like in here kind of yeah like in there to um so it wasn't so like silvery whitish and then after that I have the Revlon it says new but I got it a while ago it's the Revlon diamond dust it's pink but it's got glitter in it so then I went and did the same thing, but I went really close to the eye. Bleh, I cannot talk. Went really close to the eyebrow bone, like it up, like right here, my eyebrow with it, and I did it kind of heavily to get the glitter look. This little stupid brush fell out. And then I tried. I talked about that I had other th other things you could use as a highlighter besides that benefit stick. I found it's a CoverGirl Eye Slick, but actually I have to throw this away because it was dried out and wasn't working. So, in the garbage it just went. So, instead, I don't know if you can see, 
why is that like really black right there what the hell happened anyways um right here to do a highlight so it's not so dark um i got this off of avon and you could get avon off of amazon too um, this is the Jillian Dembski for Avon. I used, it's a double stick. It's pretty much the same thing as the Benefit. And then you just kind of, how I did with the Benefit, just blend it in. I only, I used a little bit. And the other side is a lipstick, which it's okay. I've used it before. So, I mean, I can't complain. I've used it. And then, okay, for the black, because the black goes last, even though I had, um, I, maybe it's not looking too much. Maybe it's just I'm catching a shimmer. But after I did the black cream, I had a really good outline. So it's the Revlon Pearly Black Galaxy. And it's got glitter in it too. So this look is kind of glittery, shimmery. Like, I would wear this if I was going out somewhere. Um, then I did my black with that. And then I blended with the blending brushes I showed them before. Um, I could do a tutorial on the brushes that I use. I think I'm going to, um, because they're pretty much all drugstore brushes. Then I blended everything in really nice. Hopefully it looks really nice. I don't know. Um, then I used very close to my, um, lash line up in here. I used the Ultra Liner by Maybelline. Sorry about the glare. Okay, no glare there if I cover my face. Then I used that. Then, for my eyelashes, I curled them and everything, and I did a tutorial. I don't know if you can see my eyelashes. Maybe you can't now. Okay. I used the Lash Blast Volume. Getting a glare. It actually works really, really good. Um, I would have preferred, like, when you're doing something, to me, this is, like, on the heavier side. You don't want to use the black um, mascara. I did. You want to use brown, but I couldn't find the brown one to save my life. Um, and then, as usual, like, in my waterline and in my upper waterline, I used my infamous Maybelline Expert eyewear because I love the hell out of this shit. And, um, also for mascara, um, for my bottom lashes, I went a little heavy this time. I used the, um, Maybelline Legal Lengths. Which, I really like this. This is a... I was looking for this when I, when I was using the um, Too Faced uh, Lashgasm. I was actually looking for this one the whole time and I couldn't find it. But I actually found it. Go me. And then for the lipstick, I showed you how to do it. It looks really, really pink. I mean, this is like the pinkest lipstick I think I've ever... You're getting like a glare of it. And it like really sucks. Because I want you to like... The bottom shows how pink it is, but... It is like the pinkest lipstick i ever seen. I have it on, but I used the brush technique. And then after I did that, I put over, um, and you, I could have used, this is Revlon Color Stay, um, Overtime Lip Color. It comes with a lip color, and then it comes with the, um, like the gloss. And like I do before, you know, you just dab a little in the middle. And right there, it did the gloss. And, um, that was pretty much it for this look. Oh, I did do my eyebrows. I did use a CoverGirl, um, actual eyeliner to do it. Um, if you think this look is too black, I have to wear black eyeliner. But, um, I did find my Wet n Wild white eyeliner. And I have the Sephora one, so you can try that. So, this is, like, the look. Let me see if this lighting's a little bit better. And I just wore a black turtleneck with it. You can dress this up, dress this down, do your hair so many different ways. That's kind of how, on an angle, how I did my hair. You can kind of see it. I don't know, because I didn't really want to, like, style it, because... What the hell? Oh my god, the light's going out. Okay, well, I'm going to end it here. Um, let me know what you think of this look. It's the semi-poor girl haul. Um, it's makeup you could get any drugstore. Um, buy a piece at a time. They have so many different colors, so many different ways you can work with makeup. Um, let me know what you think of this tutorial. And I am going to be in search at the Dollar Tree for 
the cheapest makeup I can find and see what kind of tutorial I can do with that. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and you got something out of it. And I will um, see you guys next time. Thanks.